Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to Muhammad's Boom Boom Room, where all of my guests either agree with me completely or they go boom. I am your host, the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon me. And with me now is a man who has been called history's greatest questioner, which is perfect because I've been called history's greatest womanizer. Prophet Socrates, thank you for joining me. Oh, I, I'm not a prophet. Well, you are now, because whenever I talk about any important person from history, I say that he's a prophet of Islam. It's an easy way to convince that person's followers to believe in me. It might be better to speak the truth and not make stupid claims. A prophet of Islam says what? What? A prophet of Islam says what? What? Alhamdulillah! Now we have even more proof that I am a prophet of the great God Allah. Even the prophet Socrates spoke about me. So, you can write now? No, I just draw pictures. I thought pictures were forbidden. Stupid book! So, you claim to be an expert in religious matters. Peace be upon me. You can ask me any question, and I shall answer it. Well, I've been reading your book, and I'm a little confused as to your view of creation. Peace be upon me. You've come to the answer, man. You say in chapter 30, verse 20 of the Quran, that Allah created human beings from dust. Peace be upon me. Allah indeed created us from dust. And dust is dry, is it not? Dry, peace be upon me. Yet in chapter 24, verse 45, the Quran declares that Allah creates every living creature from water. Yes, yes, water is the substance from which Allah has created all living things. And human beings are living creatures, are they not? Peace be upon me. So human beings are created from water. Peace be upon me. Isn't water wet? Peace be upon me. And wet is the opposite of dry? Peace be upon me. So, according to the Quran, human beings were created from dust, which is dry, and also created from water, which is the opposite of dry. Human beings were thus created from that which is simultaneously Dry and not dry. Assalamu alaikum, Brother Zakanaik. What do I do when I've been caught in a contradiction? Thank you for rescuing me yet again. I'll see you soon. Well, whenever you're done hiding, wherever it is you're hiding to avoid prosecution. Prophet Socrates. The angel Gabriel has given me the answer. When the great God Allah created man, he took some water and mixed it with some dust, thus creating mud. And Allah created man by shaping this mud into a man. So Allah is sharing his recipe for making man, like mixing a cocktail or baking a cake. Mix one part water with two parts dust, then take the mud and shape it into man. Peace be upon me. Allah takes multiple substances and stirs them together to create a man. And yet Allah says in chapter 19, verse 67 of the Quran, But does not man call to mind that we created him before out of nothing? Alhamdulillah. Allah is the best of creators. He creates from nothing. Aren't dust, water, and mud something? Peace be upon me. And something is the opposite of nothing, is it not? I don't like where you're going with this. Maybe nothing is another ingredient that Allah mixes with the water and the dust. I'm sure Allah could have quite the cooking channel based on his recipes for creating things. He sounds like Gordon Ramsay with the Infinity Gauntlet. But according to chapter 3, verse 47 of the Quran, 
When Allah creates, He simply says, Be, and it is. Peace be upon me. As I have said, Allah is the best of creators. So, Allah creates simply by saying the word be, and yet He creates by some lengthy step-by-step -step process where He mixes together different ingredients and fashions them into a certain shape before breathing into them. Clearly, this goes far beyond simply saying the word be. I don't see a problem. Are you familiar with the law of non-contradiction? Sounds like pagan philosophy. Your God sounds like the God of contradiction. Oh yeah? Well, you're correct that Allah has a say. He says be, and it is. But I also have a saying. Do you want to know what it is? Do enlighten me. Allahu